What's up YouTube, it's Go Getter Jonah back with another YouTube video. And today's video was about how I first reacted in my first time on Shrooms, right? I wasn't, you feel what I'm saying? And that's what I'm about to get into now. And don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people are, are new to Shrooms, a lot of people don't know what it does, but if you're new to it, Shrooms is a psychedelic, you know what I mean? It's nothing too crazy, everything is natural. and um, it's just a, you know what I mean? It's a drug, of course, but it's a natural drug. And not only that, I made sure I did my research and I was investigating to see where it came from, where how it was grown, everything. So, cause that's a lot of thing. A lot of y'all out here just be trying anything. And that's why everybody is going crazy or turning into fiends. You feel what I'm saying? So always do your research, but, um, uh, it's me and some friends. I'm not going to be too federal and see who's, you know, who's and who wasn't. Because the story time is about me, of course. Um, me and some friends, we chilling. And he had some shrooms in a, uh, in the package or whatever. And he splits it. It's like an eighth for shrooms. <clears throat> I already done tried, you know, the shroom bars and stuff. But I only took one. Like, if you guys, you know what I mean, don't know what microdosing is. It's basically like measuring to see, all right, if you take a couple of pieces, you're going to be lifted. If you take six pieces, you're going to be tripping balls. You're going to start seeing and seeing waves and patterns and all types of crazy shit, right? So long story short, uh, I tried the mushrooms before, but I was trying them with the chocolate bars and I was microdosing with the chocolate bars, right? It's some Subway, you know what I mean? Eat fresh. <laughs> but no, nah, it's not promoted by Subway on any chance. I'm not giving them no free clout. But long story short, we over here, uh, we chilling, and he pulls out the pack, and he's like, yo, I got the shrooms. You want to take, you want to split the pack, you want to split the eighth? So he pours something in my hand. I'm looking at it and shit. Wow. Like, what the fuck? Like, it look like little gummy worms, like, but they, they look like dried up. So I'm looking at it, and I'm smelling it. You feel what I'm saying? My, my friend, he's, oh, nah, you know what I mean? Like, these are official. You already know who sold them to us. You know him personally. He says his name, so I'm like, okay, I know who he is. I already done went around his house. So, you know, it's all trusted. It's all people that we all know. It's no familiar, no strangers. It's no funny business going on, right? We split the eighth, and I down them. And I'm as soon as I down them, I'm chewing them. They taste like, I don't even know how to describe it. They taste like sunflower seeds that you can eat, but five times more bitter. Like, they, they taste really... You, know, you gotta have a certain water. It was like, you can't just eat them and then just stay there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it has a little aftertaste to them. So, and I'm making a face. My friend, he starts laughing. He's like, yeah, I need, a, <laughs> need some of your water too. So, we, we sharing the water and shit. And then after that, we just continue to smoke and whatnot. And after that, we decided to go to the gym. So, after that, you feel me? I forget that I done took the shrooms or whatever. So, I'm just, you know, I'm in my zone. I'm chilling. And then it hits. And when I tell you, when shrooms hit, it's a different feeling. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I was doing some type of workout with my arms. It was some type of machine where I'm putting my arms up together. Like little machine, right? Or little image right here. But long story short, I'm on that machine. And then as soon as I'm doing it, I see like everything around me just starts twirling. Like I'm seeing some type of like... You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to, like, and I'm thinking I'm bugging, but then I remember, and my friend, he tells me, like, yo, bro, you did shrooms, so that's why you might start seeing things, you might start feeling away. So I'm like, okay, all right, I'm cool. And it's really important that if you do try shrooms, you have somebody right next to you that's already done tried it, or they're not on the same level as you, so that way, if you start tripping too bad, they can calm you down and bring you back to reality, because a lot of y'all have messed up friends, too. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, a lot of y'all don't have friends that's really there for y'all. And will laugh at y'all and oh yeah he's tripping me while you're over here panicking and you're doing stuff that you're not supposed to do but you're not having that proper eye you feel what i'm saying but um yeah so i'm he's telling me like yo bro relax just try to enjoy the trip you're you try to work out and as i'm working out you feel what i'm saying i feel very happy you feel what i'm saying i'm listening to some music i feel every word i feel i feel so loved like you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm running, and I feel like I'm running up a hill because I'm running on an incline, but I feel like I'm running on an incline, like, and I'm just running. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, I got runners high. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm listening to some core. Like, everything's just perfect. You feel what I'm saying? You feel, like, so... You feel very, like, 
grateful. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it all depends on your mindset, too. Because a lot of people go taking shrooms and, and then they start tripping and start seeing, like, Osama bin Laden. Or they start seeing, like, evil, scary creatures. And it's because in their mindset, they not really right in the head. And not only that, they have something suppressed down in their feelings. So it's like, when you offer shrooms, everything is real. Like, that, everything you feel... Everything that, like, all that comes out to light. Any childhood traumas, any bad memories, any feelings that you want had suppressed, all that stuff, there's no way you can hide it off of mushrooms, right? So, I think we went to, we were just chilling on the rocks in the inlet. Then we were just walking around the city, just tri like, and trying to enjoy the trip, trying to be in nature and whatnot. And we go back to our neighborhood and... Like, my friend starts getting paranoid. I feel like I'm tense. Like, like I start, like, hyperventilating type. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm not scared to be in my neighborhood. But it's like, when you're off mushrooms, everything is intensified. You hear things better. Your vision is like, you're locked in. Uh, what else? You're sensitive. Like, everything is just intensified. So when you're in a neighbor, like, the neighborhood where I'm at, and there's a whole bunch of chaos, there's a whole bunch of vibes going on, like... It's not the best idea. I recommend you, when you're off of mushrooms, I'd rather you go to a safe spot, safe place, and people that you really are, you know, down with or people that you're really cool with because a lot of people's bad experiences come from being in messed up environments and just being around weird and wacky people. So come back. I'm in the neighborhood. I start coming down a little bit. That tense feeling starts going away. Uh, I clap out my, you know what I mean, my friend. And I tell you, like, yo, let me know when you make it back safe. Uh, we both crash, And that was probably it. Like, I don't remember shit after that. And waking up, you feel me? You wake up different because it's like, now you're back in the reality. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like, when you're off the mushrooms, you feel like you're, like, in a video game world slash spiritual world. You feel what I'm saying? Like... And I, a lot of y'all, is going to go right over y'all head, but, like, you really start seeing stuff that you really don't see when, with your sober eyes. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of people just see, like, skin and, you know what I mean? They see stuff, but if you're more intact in and you're more spiritual and you start seeing stuff for really, like, what it truly is, it gets deep. But that was my experience off mushrooms, and I really was down. And I, you know what I mean? I'm not doing it. Listen, Mushrooms is not something you should be doing every single day. That's something that you should do once in a blue moon when you want to unwind. You feel what I'm saying? Something that you can do for fun. Don't try and abuse them and do them every day because that's where a lot of people fuck up and they, they end up messing with their whole mindset because that is something that requires you to be in a good mindset. So don't abuse them, please. But yeah, that is the whole story time. That concludes it. Feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm planning a lot of videos. I'm telling you, I'm planning a lot of videos. So I'm telling you, if y'all not a go-getter now, you might want to be a go-getter. Because sooner or later, you're going to hear about me anyway. You feel what I'm saying? But long story short, like, subscribe to this video. And if you want to see more content, hit the bell. And yeah, follow my socials so you can be updated. I'm out. Bye.